Yes, madam, you can start. Sokol versus Sosol. What is Sokol? Sokol stands for Salesforce Object Query Language. You can use Sokol to read information stored in your org's database. Sokol is synthetically similar to SQL. You can write and execute a Sokol query in Apex code or in the developer console's query editor. Salesforce Object Query Language is used to fetch data from the Salesforce database. Sokol searches the records using a perfect match of given criteria and the operation can be performed on a single Salesforce object only. Why we use Sokol query in Salesforce? Use Sokol when you know which objects the data resides in and you want to retrieve data from a single object or from the multiple objects that are related to one another. Count the number of records that meet specified criteria, sort results as part of the query. Then what is Sosol? Sosol is Salesforce object search language, is a Salesforce search language that is used to perform text searches in records. Use Sosol to search fields across multiple standard and custom records in Salesforce. Open developer console and select query editor tab. Enter the Sosol and click query. Sosol is also used to fetch data from the Salesforce database. It actually searches for the text we give and fetches the data from the records where the given text matches any data from the Salesforce. Difference between Sokol and Sosol. Sokol statements evaluate to a single object, a list of S objects or an integer for count method queries. We can also create new objects from the Sokol queries on existing ones. Yes, Sosol statements evaluate to a list of list of S objects where each list contains the search results to a particular S object type. The results are always returned in the same order as they were specified in the Sosol query. If a Sosol query does not return any records for a specified S object, the search result includes an empty list for that S object. These are the differences between Sokol and Sosol. Here we will use Sokol retrieves the records from the database by using select keyword and Sosol retrieves the records from database by using find keyword. Here the return type is S object or list of S object. For Sosol, the return type is list of list of S object. This is the syntax. And by using Sokol, we can know in which object or the field the data resides. By using Sosol, we don't know in which object or field the data resides. We can retrieve data from single object or multiple objects that are related to each other. We can retrieve multiple objects and fields efficiently when the object may or may not be related to each other. By using Sokol, we can query on only one table, but by Sosol, we can query on multiple tables. Only one object at a time can be searched, searched in single object in Sokol, but in many objects can be searched at a time Search an entire organization or database by using Sosol. We can query on all fields of any data type, but here in Sosol, we can query on fields whose data type is text, phone, and email, and also in sidebar fields. I'll show that. DML, DML operations can be performed on query results. DML operations cannot be performed on query results. Here, what's returned are records. In Sosol, what's returned are files. We can count retrieved records. We cannot count retrieved records. And governor limits for Sokol is we can retrieve 50k records in single Sokol. In single transaction, we can perform 100 Sokols. And for Sosol, we can retrieve two records in single Sosol. In single transaction, we can perform 20 Sosols. Records are stored in collection and pertaining to single object. Here in Sosol, records are pertaining to different S objects. And last, Sokol queries can be used in classes and triggers. Sosol, they are not supported in Apex classes and anonymous blocks. Okay, this is dynamic Sosol. Dynamic Sosol is similar to dynamic Sokol. We can create dynamic Sosol. Whenever a user is selecting a piece of information on a page and then he or she is submitting it to Apex program, then in that Apex program, we need to generate that Sosol query at one time. In that case, we'll use dynamic Sosol. And this is sidebar fields. Uh, in classic fields, which come on the left, the hand side in the sidebar are considered as sidebar fields. If you only want to perform search on particular text on sidebar fields, in that we we'll use it. It is used in Sosol. Completed, sir. Uh, madam, Sosol will not use in triggers. 
we will use in the classes and uh, uh, develop the console where there you can use it. Now. Software will retrieve how many records, madam, in a single query? Two K records, sir. Two thousand records. Two thousand. Uh, good, madam. Thanks, madam. Thanks for the time. Thank, thank you.